allowed to just like keep on going? A am I allowed to do that? I don't. <laughs> I'm still recording these videos before the first track has even come out publicly for you guys. So I I don't know. I'm just kind of going. Uh, hey. How you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. You know what it is. We're back here with the chameleons. We're moving on to the next track on Script of the Bridge, which is going to be Up the Down Escalator. Listen, as a kid, it was so fun going up the escalator, running down the escalator. But then I remember in the 90s, I saw this news story about someone's foot getting caught under the thing and it, it went from there. So ever since I, I saw that news story, I never played on the escalator again. Anyways, let's go ahead and give it a listen. We'll talk about it after. Let's go. I guess hollow riffing in the fog. That was a really neat little uh, little change in the end there. As he's saying, dragging me down, like the music actually begins to drag and pull back. I like that. Like it's a little quick moment, but it it makes this really strong effect. The guitars in here are so dreamy, so hazy. Like it, I don't know if I don't know if it's been mentioned before or anything like that, but it really does sound like a little bit of a shoegaze 
kind of precursor. Like, obviously, this came out before, you know, Shoegaze, really. 83? I don't know when Shoegaze actually began, so I don't, I don't want to speak out of turn. But the guitars have that hazy, dreamy kind of quality to it, that there's a heavy kind of fritzy feeling to it. But at the same time, it's light, and it, you kind of peek through it and see the mist, you know? So I really like that. Alongside the, I guess, heaviness of the drums and bass, like, that's still relatively heavier and kind of rooted in that post-punk feeling but it's that guitar that lightens everything up and just kind of wafts in the air like a light mist and then vocally it sounds really good i like how he's singing in the line um, eden there's no eden like there's a realization like there's no paradise and so he kind of has this almost a heartbroken kind of despair kind of moment when he says that and i like how he emotes that vocally in there i like that I'm gazing at faces staring blankly at me. Oh, I suppose it's just a sign of the times. They tell me tomorrow will never arrive, but I've seen it end a million times. I've lost my direction while dodging the flack. Oh, give me a hint of something. If I could freeze time at the flick of a switch, I wouldn't hesitate. No. There must be something wrong, boys. There must be something wrong. So, I, I don't know exactly what he's looking at, but he's looking at something, realizing that there's something off, and that maybe he wants to flick the switch, freeze time, in order to maybe try and understand it, but things are just moving too fast for him to. Obnoxious actions, obnoxious results. Yes, teachers who refuse to be taught. Distorted pictures and dizzy people rush by me at the speed of thought. They sit at the tables and throw us the scraps. For Christ's sakes, leave me something. Now they can erase you at the flick of a switch. Oh, there must be a way. So he's feeling, he's feeling downtrodden, looked down, people throwing scraps at him, whatever that could be. He feels like he's only getting the leftovers of society. Maybe he's not able to pursue and enjoy life to the fullest because he feels kept down by something. Uh, and he realizes, that the, he realizes that there's something wrong and that, uh, that he either swims or he drowns, basically, in the end with that. So, great track. Let me know what you guys thought, obviously, in the comments down below. I'm having a great time. I don't know about you, but I'm having a great time. Let me know what you think. Uh, follow me on Twitter, support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here, and I will talk to you later. Bye.